Okay, this is part two of my presentation, and it'll basically be just about, out of all the different subjects I want to cover uh, related to Charles Morton, it's basically going to be only about Charles Morton's life at Vince, and it's mostly going to be based upon the Wikipedia article entitled Charles Morton Librarian that was originally authored by Jonathan Bowen, and Jonathan Bowen most part wrote this paragraph uh, if I can get it on there about what he what he actually did at the British Museum and I think Jonathan Bowen is working on basically history of staffing at various museums the rest of it uh, was pretty much written by me but has been uh, very heavily corrected for grammar uh, and has been trimmed down a bit for what's you know, what is or is not appropriate content for an article that is that has Charles Morton just as the subject. Although in my mind it's a little bit controversial, but I'm not the kind of person that's going to raise a big stink about things. I think there are technical ways that I could uh, keep some of the content um, <laughs> that I originally wrote, such as writing articles on on the other people that were connected to him rather than incorporating it in his article. But I digress. So, without further ado, I'm just going to start and go over the events of Dr. Charles Morton's life. Um, there have been a number of people that have worked on the article as it is right now, and um, but I think a lot of the factual content has been added by me, uh, and a lot of that content comes from... Um, Source, either primary sources or from sources that um, had no stake in uh, massaging the facts <laughs> outside the realm of reality is the best way I can put that. And, um, and those consist of you know, uh, notices, say in the Gentleman's Magazine or the um, Annual Register and things of that nature. I'll go over the sources that I have at the bottom at the end of this, and hopefully I won't go over my 15 minutes. I may break this into two. Okay, so Dr. Charles Morton was born in 1716. And um, he was, and uh, where does that piece of information come from? It mostly comes from that. It mostly comes from uh, the Dictionary of National Biography. He was an English medical doctor and a librarian who became the principal librarian of the British Museum. And I'll have more details as to how that happened. And I'll go into more, a little, I hope to add uh, to the body of knowledge um, in, a, in a cohesive fashion just the importance that Dr. Charles Morton had, because I think he was of more importance than a lot of, of the biographies given credit for, and even some of the Wikipedia articles. Okay. Now, uh, this was written by Jonathan Bowen, so credit this part to him. Uh, at the British Museum, Morton was initially a medical underlibrarian in charge of manuscripts in the Cotton, Harley, Sloan, and Royal collections. He worked on a project to publish the Doomsday Book, but he never completed it. Instead, Abraham Farley took over the project and published a new edition in 1783. Now, there is some um, controversy about that. It's discussed a little bit more, actually, in the Wikipedia Doomsday article um, over at wikipedia.org. And um, I basically copied and pasted over some of the content of the, dis of, of the, the controversy that was taking place. It was more or less that um, supposedly that Abraham Farley was felt that it was in his, within his providence and not Dr. Charles Morton's providence to, to uh, put the Doomsday Book to publication. And so there was, there's an idea, at least, that Abraham Farley was actually obstructing Dr. Charles Morton from doing that, that work. And, but, but, but word back from the Abraham Farley camp is that Dr. Charles Morton was just lazy. And I, I the evidence I've seen is just not that way. Now, the voice of Abraham Farley in his camp seems to have rung a lot louder than, than the, um, the voice for <laughs> Dr. Charles Morton, so I hope to speak up for him in, in this instance. 
and in other ways, I am going to present more evidence as to how he, he really did some things that were, were important for science, or was instrumental or, or, or behind those things. And, uh, but I'll get to that soon. Okay, back to this. Now, Dr. Charles Morton was married three, possibly four times, and um, one of the few mysteries regarding Dr. Uh, Morton's life is the identity of his son, uh, Charles Carr Morton's mother. In fact, it should be expanded. I should expand this. I'm reading the article as I wrote it, but I'm going to expand this. I'm going to say that it is, it's now controversial as to who Dr. Charles Carr Morton's father actually was, and I'll get into reasons why there is controversy. And when I say controversy, I'm not talking about um, between people. I'm, I'm really saying it's between the evidence itself. Uh, leads to leads credence to two conflicting conclusions, but uh, I'm digressing. Okay, so it says although Dr. Charles Morton's mother is listed as Elizabeth Pratt in Burke's Landed Gentry, the 1852 edition, and I digressing. You can um, again I'll digress. You can search Google for Morton of Kilnacrot, and if you find a Google Books search result. You can click on that. You can see Birchland, this Birchland Gentry entry that that I discuss here. And then I say it's a conventional impossibility that uh, Elizabeth Pratt was the mother of Charles Carr Morton because of the sequence of known events. And then I'm going to go into these different known events, but I'm also going to add uh, some other life events to make Charles Morton's life not only include factors that relate to Charles Carr Morton's <laughs> parenthood and, and what it could and couldn't be. Okay? Um, I'm going to stop now and I'll start part three.